Good morning, everybody. How are y'all doing today? Today I'm building a system to fill my fish tank so I don't have to keep running water up and down every week. It'll drain the system and fill the system. I'm going to use a hose to connect down here to the sink basin down here. There'll be a T down here and stuff so I can drain it while it's still connected. And then I'll go all the way upstairs to my fish tank upstairs on my second floor. I got all these plumbing pieces I have to put together. Whole bay fall plus piping. Put the fun glue. It's right somewhere in my pocket. We got all these plumbing pieces. Tape and all this fun stuff. Started on this, start building it. Show you guys what it's gonna look like when it's all done. Oh, so far I have the rounded piece. This piece with the T in it is gonna go here into the tank like this. There'll be a piece that goes down in. Man, this is hard to do. You might stand. Let's see if I can get my finger in there. It'll come down in to the tank, down to my mark line, which is right there. It'll drain the tank down to that mark line with a cap on this. Got this piping. I'm gonna go cut it up into pieces right here. This will hook onto the hose going into the basement. These two, this cap will sit on top of this piece. So I can pour water in to produce a suction with this thing turned off. As soon as I open this thing up, it should draw a suction down and start draining the tank. Cross my fingers, it works. Hopefully. Because I notice this hose has a lot of little kinks in it. So I may have to like figure out some way to either get the kinks out or go buy another hose. Because this hose I bought last year and it was sitting down in the basement. So I took it outside and I unwrapped it last year and then just kind of threw it all back together and threw it in the basement and I didn't wrap it up very well. So it got all these kinks push, pushed into it. So I took it outside and it was running it and now it's all covered in grass and all wet. Alright, I'm going downstairs to cut this pipe up. I probably should take the pipe with me. Always usually helps to take your things you're gonna cut. I'm gonna go cut them on my bandsaw because hand cutting, what a pain in the butt. Or I forgot something else. And actually, surprising enough, I actually bought a hose. But this is for irrigation. It's, and it's rigid and hard, so I'm gonna return that. It was so funny, I've read so many people that do this, these DIY projects, and they always talk about how they have to return things. And I'm like, I'm not gonna have that happen to me, no way. Cause I'm not a fan of returning things, it stresses me out too much. And now I have to return something. <laughs> so, I guess the saying's true, you always buy too much. So I'm gonna cut this piece up and then show you what I'm doing back upstairs. All right, so here's what it's gonna look like. The holes will get connected down here. Now go down in, into the basement. There's a shutoff valve, so I can turn the hose on down in the basement, but have this off so it doesn't start filling the tank right away. I mean, real fast. There'll be, this is how far the tank will empty out when it's draining. Then on top here, this thing I could take off, fill water into this little tube right here and open it, and it should produce a suction to suck out all the water really fast. And there's enough holes so fish shouldn't be able to get trapped onto that thing. Hopefully not. I'll be right here watching if they do. I'll pull it out real quick. But now I have to put it all together. 
it's all been pre-washed and everything. It's all ready to go. Just gotta be all glued together now. We'll see how it works. Oh man. Doing that plumbing, using those chemicals just for gluing the priming and gluing the pipes together. I'm doing it down in the basement with the fan running and I'm still getting like weird feeling. I don't know how plumbers can do it like underneath the sink. You must be like used to the smell or something. It is bad and came back upstairs to take a break from it. I'm only like half done with doing it. <sighs> so I'm gonna get it done. Because my fish tank needs a change of some water. And then I'm going to, I don't know what I'm doing. I want to paint. I'm really tired of looking at the back hallway half painted. I mean, I know it doesn't look much better up here in this area either, but people usually don't come up here. People go in our back hallway down there. That's how I get that done. All right, I got the first piece done. Definitely no plumber at heart and talents here. Hopefully it doesn't leak or anything. Pretty proud of it though. Hopefully it'll save my butt from having to run up and down the stairs with two liters of bottle of water and stuff like that. Now I gotta build the downstairs one. So I can extend down here. My sis just always wants to know. She's like, what's going on, Dad? <laughs> She doesn't like to smell the chemicals, so I don't blame her. So I'm getting out of the basement. Of course, she wants to go outside, but I'm not letting her because then I gotta let her back in and be upstairs for a little while. Alright, this is a downstairs piece. Not glued together yet, just dry fit. Looks like to me, it looked like some type of fighting tool. I don't know. But it's gonna go like right here in the sink top part, orange part from the hose, we'll get cut off and put on here, and this will attach to that. Bottom part, the rest of the hose will get connected on right here, now we'll go upstairs, and then this bottom section will be for draining the siphon to drain the water out of the tank. We'll see if this all works. I invested about 30, 30 bucks into all this, and actually it'll be a lot cheaper because 15 of it's going back. And another pipe, 15, 17 of it's going back. So, let's we'll see if this works. So now I'm gonna dry fit all, or fit all this stuff together with my smelly glues. This is not a fun job. I do not envy any plumber out there. All you plumbers, I have a whole new respect for you. Cause this stuff stinks. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get my respirator and put where my respirator mask down here. Cause the fan wasn't doing nothing. It's like blowing it through the whole basement. Yep. Got my respirator mask right here. Cause I sure don't want to smell that crap anymore. Cause it stinks bad. Luke, I am your father. Had to do it. <laughs> Sounded like Darth Vader. All right, time to start gluing. They made a world of difference. Hex gone already. That was weird. The hex gone. Put inside the fish tank. This cool. goes in the fish tank and it sucks all the water out and pushes the water back in. I think it might be closed. Huh? I think it might be closed. Why? It, how is it supposed to suck up the water if it's closed? All those holes? Oh, I didn't see the holes. Well, it's working very slowly though. What I think I need to do is get a new hose. Because this hose has so many kinks in it. And I think, or there's not enough holes in the bottom of my drill thing. Where is it? There it is. I didn't drill enough holes in that thing. So 
so that could be a problem. But I mean, as I pull this hose down, if I need so many kinks in my system. And here's another one. There's a small one. There's another one. That one's pretty bad. I can't get out of there. So, I mean, it's trickling out. It'd be nice if it was a little faster. Oh, I wonder if I turn on the water. The water will give us more suction. Or could it just stop it? Look we'll up there and take a look. Allison just told me about Speedy Rewards cards, and I've had a card now for four years. Never even registered it, didn't even know nothing about it. I just thought I got free soda every once in a while. And come to find out I have over 12,000 points. It's just like all the crap I can get now. And I get like 160 some points every visit. It's amazing. It's amazing what the, all the free crap companies give you that they don't tell you about really. Right? Well, the hose didn't work, so I went and bought a new hose. I got a new green hose. The yellow hose kept collapsing on itself. So now I'm gonna install a green hose with hose clamps that Allison most generously came with me and helped. Actually, I'm gonna shave my head first. That's what I'm gonna do first. Mm -hmm. Well, I got the head shaved. Got the new green hose, old yellow hose. I got the new green hose running water through it for right now. I'm trying to get that new smell because I don't think the fish would really appreciate new smell. So it goes all the way up here. I got running out here on this roof. All right, I have ran so many steps today. I gotta see what this one's. I've done 7,421 7, steps already today. I am exhausted. See, so here's my setup. I don't know if I can show you guys it. So I turn this off, maybe. And I take this cap off. And it produces a suction and sucks the water out of the hose. Pretty bad one too. And I drilled more holes into the cap, so hopefully I'll suck enough water out of the fish tank to do this. Cap off. Now, the only place that there's water now is here. Because it couldn't obviously go up into the sink. Oh. <sighs> Work. All right. I'm going to continue working. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. It's not sunny out, but at least it's nice and nice out. Still got to clean up this basement. I think we're actually going to finally build the chairs tomorrow. It's Friday, right? Yeah. Going to build the chairs tomorrow. Get them done. About to see. I'll post about it. All right, I'm going back. But all the fish are still pretty healthy. Still going. Very happy. A couple, maybe like, maybe two more weeks, I'm gonna go get more fish. I want fish for the middle. Cause there's no fish ever hanging around the middle. Like in this area. They only hang out on the bottom and the bait have 
wherever I am, that's where the beta is. I'm working on losing weight. Having an energy drink and eating a salad, do they cancel each other up? I often wonder that. <laughs> One of my crazy thought processes in life. Well guys, I'm gonna cut it out for today. Had another long day of running stairs and I'm just exhausted. So I'm gonna take it easy, watch TV for the rest of the night. Just take it easy. So I will see you guys tomorrow.